The vision for New Space was to bring the university right into the heart of the city. It was to bring the world to Newcastle. We really wanted the presence to make it clear that this was the university for the city. The university has always been a really important part of the community here in Newcastle, but uh, we, have, we only had a very small presence in the middle of the city, and so it was a great opportunity to uh, really help revitalise the city and the economy. We wanted a building that was very uh, transparent and permeable and open to the public, but really embodied the pedagogy that we were embarking on, which was very much collaborative learning. So really taking the idea and turning it into a design, you know, is a very big step and, uh, and it's, where, it's where you get uh, the greatest opportunity to get, to get the project right. We decided to go down a slightly different path from what the university had, had embarked on previously and, uh, and went out for a design competition. So commissioning somebody to build this fairly, uh, fairly ambitious design was a big challenge, you know, and, uh, and involved quite a bit of risk that we had to manage along the way. And Hans and Youngkin's team really impressed us with the way they approached the design. Everyone wanted to be involved in the project, the scale of the project, but also the nature of it, knowing that it was going to be such an iconic building. There was a lot of different elements and a lot of different processes we went through, which our class is pretty exciting. I haven't worked on a project before where um, a design goes out to um, a bunch of designers to come up with as many weird and wonderful ideas as they can to win a competition. The biggest challenge for us when we, uh, when we opened up the ground was the water table. When we're opening the ground to install pile caps on top of the uh, CFA piles and it's very unforgiving so we incorporated the use of what they call spear pump dewatering system. Uh, which has a flocking station on site, so we basically pump water out of the ground 24-7. It goes into a large tank, it's treated and then it's sent off site. Because the ground floor was a pretty complicated um, structural design with a lot of pore joints, especially incorporating the mine subsidence parameters that we had for the, for the structure, and it meant that we could just jump the structure up and effectively what was probably four to six weeks worth of work in those key ground floor pore areas, you take that straight out of your critical path and you complete that concurrently with the rest of the structure. Whereas using the jump form system, it's a self-climbing unit. Basically you pour a floor and, and jump it up. So we were jumping every six or seven days. The installation of the X columns was a pretty uh, major construction element within the structure. The steel has effectively lost formwork and provides you no real structural support in terms of fire rating. So I'm reinforcing cages down inside those steel pipes, getting all those connection details fabricated in advance, having them loaded to site, and that process of assembling on site and then lifting up into position and then pumping them up with high flow grout. It's a really complicated process and something that you'll get to experience on so few projects. You can't deliver this sort of facility without really strong relationships. Knowing that we could work with a team on the contractor's side that really understood what we were aspiring to achieve and could help us get there. At Hanson Youngkin we try and pride ourselves on being open and honest with our clients and that means sharing good news and bad news. Because we'd done so many projects for the university before, we already had that relationship so there was already a level of trust so they knew that we weren't going to keep things to ourselves. They knew there was going to be this open, collaborative approach. There's folders this thick and there's hundreds of them with just shop drawing after shop drawing after shop drawing. It goes through every single piece of steel, bolt, connection. There's a lot more detail behind the scenes than what people will ever, ever start to fathom. It's unbelievable. Oh, the, the old final spit polish. The um, university's rolling in from today, so um, just making final preparations. Um, the building's looking really good. Walking into new space for the first time for me, I was so proud. I was proud of the team that has worked tirelessly across years to translate a, a vision, a concept, through to a design and then through to this remarkable building. It's not a solo effort, it's not one, two, five, ten, ten people, it's hundreds of people. These guys have stuck it all the way through. You know, they, they wanted to be a part of their career from beginning to end. And I think what they've achieved, when you look around, all the detail, it's just, uh, it's just great what they've done. At the end of the day, the coolest thing is just standing out on the street and looking at this place as it stands now, in its finished state, and knowing that, you know, this is two years of blood, sweat and tears to get where it is. 
This building represents innovation. It says we're building a future where education will be disrupted, but we're going to be part of the response to that and allow for change, allow for development, allow for growth.